welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be talking about a very common problem when you get any kind of blue screen black screen or your windows get corrupted so you have to reinstall windows 10 or 11 but the biggest problem is while reinstalling you lose all your data that is on your c drive now majority of the people save the data either on desktop in the download document pictures or videos and so when you format your drive or your windows get corrupted all your data get corrupted right as i have seen that most of the people while installing windows 10 or 11 they only go with one single disk like right now you can see on my end i have only local disk c where is my operating system where is all my data so if anything happened to my operating system even i will lose all my data so what you will have to do here you need to separate the disk here you need to create a new drive and transfer and move all the data from C drive to that particular drive. Now, before starting, there are two different things that you have to keep in your mind. Number one, that this method is only applicable if your hard drive or SSD is in a running condition. Number two, the next time whenever you install any kind of software application or any kind of game, then prefer installing it on a different drive and not on your c drive where your windows has been installed because most of the time what happen if your windows get corrupted all your data game everything get deleted all right now what you will have to do right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on disk management in the disk management you will find your drive here you can compare it with the file explorer that what kind of size it has okay so once you find your main drive right click on it then click on shrink volume now it will be calculating the space available to shrink and it shows me that around 3214 mb is free on my end okay so i'm just giving you an example here because this is my virtual machine so i will just take around 2000 mb then i will click on shrink and once the shrink will be completed a new unallocated space will be created so I don't have much space on my C drive. So I just took around two gigabyte, but it's all up to you. If you have enough space, then just go ahead and take at least 70 or 80 gigabyte because all your storage will now be on this particular drive. All right. So once it's been unallocated, make a right click on it, choose new simple volume, then click on next, then click on next. You can assign a letter if you want to change it. Click next, click next and then click on finish and a new drive has been created so if i go back now so you will find that i have a new drive here so now next what we have to do here we have to transfer all the data that we have in the download in the document in the pictures all right so for that what you will have to do go to local disk c then look for the user folder double click on it then you have to look for your user account double click on it to open it and here you will find all kind of folders like your desktop document now majority of the people as i said they save their data in either desktop document or download all right so first we will start with desktop so what you will have to do right click on it click on properties then click on location now here you have to click on move a new file explorer will be up now here you have to locate to a new drive that you just created. So I will go to this drive. And then here you have to make a new folder where you can move all the data. So right click on it. Go up to new. Choose folder. And name it as desktop. Select it. And then click on select folder. So now you can see that it's been selected. Now you have to click on apply. Click on yes, then click on OK. OK, so now you can see that desktop has been moved to now new drive over here. So this is how you have to do with individually uh, with every folder here. Like we have done with the desktop. Now, if you have data in your document, do the same with the document. Right click on it. Properties. Location. Click on move. Again, locate to that new drive. Double click on it. Make a folder here by making a right click, new, 
and name it as documents once created select it then click on select folder click apply click on yes and then click on ok all right so if i again go back to my new drive so you can see that we have both desktop and the document with all the data all right so now what will happen even if your windows get crash that is in your c drive your data will be saved because now it's in a different drive and as i recommended you that from the next time whenever you install any kind of game any kind of application then try to change the location of that game or application to this new drive instead of c drive so that's all guys hopefully uh, you will keep this thing in your mind now so that you can save your data at least next time whenever you have such kind of problem and if you find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye